Hello, in this Visual Basic programming video, I am going to show you the tab control component. Really simple, so let me just add it. And if we go to containers, tab control, just add it right here. And, and if we were to just run it as it is, see what we get. So we get, you know, two tabs. I'm thinking, okay, they, you know, are they any different? Yeah, they are. So if I add like a button to this one, and then if I run it, Tab 2 doesn't have that button anymore. So this button is only for tab page 1. And for tab page 2, I could add something. Maybe I add a label. Maybe I add a checkbox as well. Let's just go crazy. And obviously, we can rename these. We could, you know, add a tab. We can remove a tab. Pretty simple stuff. We can go down to here and go to tab pages. Click the three dots and change the actual you know the name which will be done by that that's the actual name that you refer to in code and that's the name that appears right here so i'm going to say tab one and then you can do stuff like changing the color as one well. background color i'll leave that as an extra task for you you want to just change the name of one tab but that's all you need to do so if i run it there we go we have like separate tab. This is great if you have a lot of information and you want to group common information together, you can use the tab control. You could even potentially use this if you're trying to create a web browser and you know each tab could have the web browser component. But I'll leave that with you. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next programming tutorial.